Warning, the following game which you're about to view is rated T for teen due to animated blood and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, this is Tails Phil and I know welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Last video, I met up with the Luminoth and started making my way to the Iagon Wastes, which is going to be our first uh, main area of the game. And I skipped an enemy earlier because I wanted to save, but now I can scan him. He is a Sand Digger. Scans indicate that the Sand Digger has a dual brain nervous system. Both of its heads are capable of attacking, disabling, and digesting prey. It fires globs of acidic digestive fluid at prey to cripple them and begin the digestion process. Its hide is very durable and resistant to weapons fire. Only its exposed eyes can be damaged. Hey, don't do that. That's me. Ow! I'm just trying to demonstrate a battle with you. You don't have to be so mean. I thought you were dead. Uh, do I have to take care of- I have to take care of both ends. I think I usually just ignore these guys, so I definitely did not remember that. Whoopsies! Oh well. We can get some health back from nature! Or not. That's fine. Alright then, there we go. Well, I suppose I could just scan here if I wanted an easy one. I'm gonna go. I'm getting a little bit of input lag from my capture card at the moment. Alright, I can't read orange yet. Let's just confirm. What is this? Uh, brimstone, okay. Brimstone is missiles. Very good. This is a thing I can't work with. Ah, well. Object out of scanning range. What fun. Okay, solar lens modified for use as part of Illuminoth Sonic security system. Once it's connected to a Sonic control system, Sonic detection gear needed to interface with this system. Neutralizing the control emitter may affect the lens. Yeah, I, I sort of forgot how to interact with that, but yeah, there we go. Oh, foreshadowing for later. I think. Ordinary ally system. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. I am wrong. There was only one? Well, that's kind of funny. Whatever, though. If that's the way it is. There we go. Ah, uh, we can't get up there yet. We can't destroy Mr. Block. Well, let's come back here later. That's fun, isn't it? Oh, this music. You play Metro Prime 1, you probably know what this music already means. Space Pirates! They're here too! Pirate Trooper. Pirate Trooper. The Space Pirates suffered a serious defeat at Talon 4, yet they remain a powerful force for crime and disorder in the galaxy. Their technology continues to advance. Even the lowly troopers received numerous upgrades to its arsenal. A phototonic power scythe and quantum assault cannon are now standard issue weapons for all troopers. Well, we better take care of them. It would be easier my screen didn't have to freeze every few seconds. Oh, 
Well, it seems like about three charge shots do the trick. There we go. When I first played this game, I was around eight. They were definitely hard. On normal mode. Okay, just want to make sure. Just want to make sure. What's in here again? Wherever it is, I'm pretty sure I shouldn't be going this way yet. I'll check anyway. I hope that wasn't a mistake. Won't be able to get that just yet. Yeah, I definitely don't want to come here until later. I'm just gonna go. Let's not waste any more time here. We'll come back later. For now, let's just keep climbing. Hey! It's a monster! This is a Briggsy of the Surface Prowlers. The Briggsy's tail ends in a venomous barb, which it conceals underneath a hard-packed layer of fused sand. A series of sharpened ridges along its body discourages most predators. Those foolish enough to harass the Briggsy are quickly introduced to its deadly sting. What well, fun. Let's kill him. Where did the war wasps come from? Wait a minute. We were just dealing with space pirates before, and now there's war wasps. Where did they come from? I don't even know. Can't get in there yet. We'll just have to ignore it for now. There we go. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm gonna try and just scan these guys. There we go. Shriek bats. These guys can be kind of a pain to scan normally. Shriek bats have high internal temperatures, leading them to see cool climates to dwell in. They prefer caverns, roosting on ceilings while hunting for small prey. Fiercely territorial, they dive bomb anything that wanders near. This attack is fatal for the Shriek Bat, as the impact sets off a discharge of thermal energy. Whew, jeez. There's a T. I kind of forgot what T means. Let's look up a key. Translator, okay. Yeah. Save room's pretty far away, isn't it? Yeah, th this is what got me when I was a kid. This is th a boss room. So getting this far and then dying, then having to get all the way back here? That was hard as an 8-year-old. Anyways, what's the boss gonna be? Oh, look, it's a bigger enemy. Let's scan him now because we only get like 20 seconds to scan this guy. The Alpha Sand Digger. This appears to be a Sand Digger pack leader. Larger and stronger than the normal members of its kind, target both of its heads to damage it. So we're just gonna treat him like the others. He's just bigger for now. But yeah, see, it does not take long for the darkness to take over. And this immediately changes into a different scan target, so again, you get very little time to scan him in his light form. So here are, is our second boss, the Bomb Guardian. You can probably see the pattern of where the, most of the bosses are going to be in this. This Darkling Sand Digger has absorbed the ability to generate Morph Ball Bombs, and you can throw bombs with considerable accuracy and frequently lays a spread of bombs in its wake. Its head and tail are the only vulnerable spots on its body. 
Target them when they are vulnerable to neutralize and terminate this enemy. So for the most part, we're going to be shooting his purple glowing butt. And after doing that, we can get some hits in on his head when it starts turning purple. If we don't do anything in time, he will spew a mass of bombs from his mouth, which can be kind of dangerous. You can also volley them like that. Just try and get out of their way before they explode. Try and get behind him, for heaven's sakes. There we go. There we go. A charge shot can get a lot of damage in. More so than a missile. Honestly, it's very difficult to get behind him. What the heck? Alright, once more should do it. He's not a very difficult boss. The hardest part is just simply trying to get to his tail. That's that's really the hardest part of the fight. He's otherwise pretty passive. And just like that, he is down. Ugh. He gave me a lot of trouble when I was a kid, however. Must have had so much trouble getting behind him that tried to get too aggressive and kept running into his bombs in an attempt to stay behind him. It's the only thing I could think of. Anyways, let's pick up the Morph Ball Bombs! Very nice. Morph Ball Bomb acquired. While Morph Ball Mode, press A to drop a Morph Ball Bomb. What is this made out of? Teloric Alloy. Teloric Alloy is our cute use a bomb. There we go. Now then, let's get along and start seeing what else there is to see. Okay, no, this is not a scannable item item for the logbook. There we go. Alright, let's go. And yep, it's another one of these rooms. You know what that means. Uh, what am I scanning here? Yep. Oh, wait, what? Terminated 1.5 deca cycles ago. Damage from multiple weapon systems detected. Subject definitely went out fighting. Yeah, here's what we want to scan. Welcome. I am Misha, Sentinel Diagon Temple. This message survives my death. As guidance to one who would fight the Ing. A portal to Dark Aether lies nearby. With it, you can travel to this land's shadow. You must locate a dark temple, a twisted mockery of this sacred place. Inside, you will find the energy controller you seek. The temple door is held fast by three locks. The keys for the locks are hidden throughout that dark land. Yet search will be difficult. Even the very air of Dark Aether is dangerous and can cripple the strongest of warriors. In our past struggles with the Aang, we placed a series of light crystals throughout their world. They remain today. These crystals create safe areas that will protect you from the harmful atmosphere of the Dark World. I have updated your translator module. You can access devices and doors coded with amber holograms. More lands are open to explore. When you have taken the energy from the Dark Temple, return here at once. 
May the light of Ava serve you well. And there we go. Now we can read the amber ones, which I called orange. But you know what? They're kind of similar in my eyes. Is there one to scan in this room while we're here? I don't think so. Alright then. Let's go. So, now we should probably go back to what we missed. Because there were one or two things we could have interacted, we couldn't interact with earlier in what little we've already explored the Agon Wastes. And there's two doors here that we cannot open. So, we'll have to deal with that another time. For Pete's sakes, how did more war wasps show up? Oh, look, more of them. More shriek bats. You're nothing. There's a lot more enemies here now. Now I don't know what's in here. Want to go faster? Thank you. Hey, a missile expansion! That's an easy one. There we go! 15 missiles! This is hard mode, so we I'm definitely gonna want every single item I can get. They're all pretty much gonna be necessary for the end game. Just the, ooh, final boss has a lot of health! Now we can get the item that was here. It's an energy tank! Isn't this wonderful? Energy tanks are great! Alright, now there was more to scan uh, this way. So I kinda wanna scan it. More lore! It's about the Golden Age once more. Aether was a fertile, aged world with bountiful fields and oceans. The native creatures were gentle compared to other worlds we had encountered. We settled in a mountain region at first, in cliffside dwellings. In time, we established settlements in the green forest of Torvus and the fertile plains of Aegon. A great temple was built between our three domains, a place of peace and a monument to our accomplishments. It was a time of harmony for our people. Very nice. And, uh, down there. I want to go this way. Ah, look! It's a map! I got a map. I'm happy. There we go. Yep, there is quite a bit. Quite a bit here indeed. Alright then. I think I'm gonna go to the save room. Uh huh. Best way to the save room is, I guess, this way. There should be another way to where we have to go from here, at the very least, so this might help cut out backtracking, too. Alright, there we go. think that's good for this video. Next video, we're gonna go ahead to our next area, which will lead us to the Dark Aether that's the a that the Luminoth told us about. Until then, though, this has been Tasman109, and have a nice day.